Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be discussing about how you can create up a V6 engine in SOLIDWORKS and secondly I'll be talking about how you can create a rendering of this using the rendering tools of SOLIDWORKS so that you can get an image of this like this. So as you can see this engine is completely made up of aluminium and uh, from this image uh, the surface finish provided by these rendering tools is pretty great and therefore you can get an actual feel of how the mechanical component would really look like. So now let's take a look at all the components first. So this is the piston, this is the first connecting rod. And an important thing is this connecting rod will differ in design with respect to this one. Now this is particularly important because they share the same crank pin and therefore to accommodate this uh, connecting rod, it has to have some hollow cavity. This connecting rod will have some hollow cavity so that this assembly can easily move. And uh, this connecting rod is connecting to these lower parts using the nut bolt assembly which is similar similarly used to connect this connecting rod so after looking at all these components i'll be showing you an exploded animation of this so that all the components that are involved here become pretty clear So as you can see, this exploded animation is getting created. All the parts are getting disintegrated and all the assemblies are being divided into further subcomponents. So as you can see, this connecting rod is completely different in design with respect to this connecting rod. And this was the crankshaft I was talking about. And this is the flywheel. And now let's take a look at how uh, this everything comes into place using a co collapse animation so as you can see all the parts are coming together all assemblies are being remade and the entire engine gets remade again so now i'll be talking about exactly what mates have to be used so that uh, you can get uh, this type of an animation so first of all, all, we'll first view all the axes and then go into the assembly option and go to the mates tab. Here as you can see, uh, the first important thing is that you need to restrict the degree of freedom of this flywheel crank shaft apparatus to one. And in order to get that, first of all, you need to construct on the top plane uh, a straight line and uh, then using the coincident mate option you have to mate the axis of this with that and then uh, the end point of that line has to be mated with this face so that uh, this face cannot move along this line and therefore only has this rotational degree of freedom so after constraining the freedom of the crankshaft and the flywheel we'll take a look at how the assembly of connecting rod and piston has to be made so first of all, uh, when we incorporate a c component into this, uh, you'll need to use a distance mate so that uh, it's equally placed from this face as well as this face of the crankshaft. And therefore, uh, then you'll need to bring up the second uh, second connecting rod as well and therefore mate it with the same axis so that they share a common crank pin so after doing this you need to bring up these bolts and nut assemblies and then uh, using the coincident mate option made the axis of this bolt with the hollow region of this and uh, therefore uh, then you need to use the lock option so that the the nut as well as the bolt don't move out from their places and after this the next step that particularly involves is the fact that uh, in order to get this 90 degree between the this connecting rod and this connecting rod what you will have to do is you need to construct two planes uh, using the reference geometry toolbar which you can find in the insert option and go to plane in order to create these planes first of all what has to be done is you need to create a sketch of like this 
which uh, is to the central line are at an angle of 45 45 degrees and then perpendicular to this line and this line you need to construct these planes and uh, then again using the coincident main option you need to make the axis of these pistons onto those planes so that they move in a linear fashion an important part of uh, this v690 degree design is the fact that uh, there is a lot of vibration in this because of the fact that the primary and secondary forces are much more compared to a 60 degree design in a v6 engine but an important thing is when uh, compared to the designing of a v6 engine since uh, the v8 engine manufacturers just can remove the two piston connecting rod assemblies from the v8 and therefore can get get a v6 engine out of it therefore from manufacturing point of view this is pretty much easier for now uh, we'll take a look at how exactly we can create a, the rendering of this so first of all go to render tools click on edit scene and then uh, you can select whichever background you wish to so i've selected this reflective black you can go to browse option and then even select whichever you want to so click on okay then uh, the next step that uh, involves is that you need to go to options and then select the render quality but an important thing you must keep in mind is that if you click on the best then uh, the time it takes would be much more and your laptop may hang so you need to be careful about that so good is not that bad and then uh, the next thing uh, that involves is uh, you need to go to this edit appearance option and there go to advanced click on browse and select whichever metal or whichever material your piston as well assembly is made up of so i'll click on aluminum go to polished aluminum and then select all these components So after selecting all the components you need to go to final render option and click on okay. So as you can see from this image the rendering has started to build up all the pixels are coming together and the rendering is coming alive and an important feature here is that you can increase this gamma or decrease it it uh, decreases or increases the overall brightness of the image so it's up to you whichever you feel like and after the rendering is complete uh, we'll go to the save image option and then you can save it wherever you wish to so as you can see in good as well the rendering is taking up time it will take about 3 4 minutes to, to make this render complete so if you have selected better or best eventually it would have even taken much more time so now let's wait and for the final image and as you can see from this option it's about 52% complete so we'll just need to wait about for less than a minute which is great so almost finished now and then we are just going to save this image and i'll show you how you can change up the brightness of this 
so this is developed and this save image option gets enabled and then you can just save it and write any file name you wish to and then uh, if you want to increase the brightness say just type in here whatever number you wish to and as you can see the brightness has increased click on for the brightness increases much more so it's up to you whichever value you wish to so that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to this channel if you like we'll be bringing up a lot more great videos ahead thanks